Your agenda is like your map for the meeting. It should tell you where and when to start, where the meeting is going, and how to know when the meeting comes to an end. The agenda should be brief, but specific. It will probably include standing agenda items, things that you discuss at every meeting, as well as more significant matters that arise from time to time. These are some usual items that are likely to appear on your agenda. The bigger items of business should make their way onto the agenda as motions. Anyone who will be attending the meeting can submit a motion to the secretary to include on the agenda. Send all motions to the secretary early enough this gives everyone time to prepare. Motions should be worded as decisions, not topics. It's not the secretary's job to interpret what anyone is thinking. Anyone who wants the meeting to decide something needs to put that desired decision on the agenda. The best way to think about how to write a motion is to simply ask yourself, what do I want the meeting to decide? When the agenda includes a clear decision, it's much easier for everyone to stay on topic during the meeting. And if everyone has read the agenda and prepared before the meeting, a quick decision can be made, and the club can confidently begin planning to implement that decision. To give everyone a chance to be well prepared, the financial statement, treasurer's report and current bank balance should be sent to members with the agenda before the meeting. It's a great idea to get people to submit written reports before the meeting. This gives everyone a chance to read the reports before the meeting, and it's much easier on the secretary when preparing the minutes. Meeting minutes are very important, as they're the only record of what happens at a meeting. But this doesn't mean that they need to be a verbatim transcript of everything that everyone said at the meeting. It's actually easier to write the minutes as the meeting happens, rather than trying to rely on a recording or voice memo. Meeting recordings can be hard to transcribe, especially weeks after the meeting. If you're well prepared with a complete agenda, keeping accurate minutes is easy. If your agenda already includes the important information, this can all be copied straight into the minutes before the meeting even begins. And then, all you should need to record at the meeting is the mover, seconder and result of each motion, any amendments to motions, and, most importantly, who is going to do what, by when, to put your club's decisions into action. The final step for your minutes is that once they're accepted as a true and correct record, the person who chaired that meeting, or the meeting where they're accepted, should sign a copy of the minutes to verify their accuracy. Good agendas make meetings productive, and good minutes serve as your proof of the value of your meetings.